everybody. So it's time for a little bit more stretching. So we're gonna start with a downward dog. To get there, we're gonna start in our plank position. So go ahead and place your hands with your shoulders over them. Stretch one foot back and a second foot back. From here, you're gonna drag your tailbone up towards the ceiling while you reach your heel towards the ground. We're gonna do 10 times of what's called walking our feet out. You're gonna bend one knee and stretch one heel a little bit longer and then gently switch for two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Reach both heels to the ground. Here you're gently gonna lift one foot to the ceiling and you're gonna bend that knee up. Good, from here you're gonna let that foot reach to the ground and stretch one hand up and we're gonna do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very carefully reach that hand back down, stretch that leg back up and down. Time for the other side. Lift that leg, bend the knee towards the ceiling and very carefully reach that foot towards the floor. Other hand straight up and circle. Keep pushing up with those hips. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flip it back over. Bring that leg down and then gently bend your knees. Ready, it's time for our second stretch. We're going to make our way into a straddle. Now with our straddle, I want you to go ahead and take each of your toes and point them up towards the ceiling. Then you're also going to make a thumbs up sign. I want you to put them on top of your knees. Your thumb should be pointing towards the ceiling right now. You don't want your leg awkwardly turned in so it's pointing forward. So keeping our legs here, the first thing you're gonna try to do is take that hunched back you're sitting in and bring it straight up. Keeping it straight up, your one hand goes center, your other arm reaches up by your ear. From here, you're gonna to tilt to the side, reaching towards that toe. What you don't wanna do is be falling backwards this way, okay? So you're really trying to keep that spine reaching up and out. After a count of 10, you come on up, switch, and you take it to the other side. Once again, really extending that spine, making sure this leg hasn't collapsed in, keeping it reaching towards the ceiling, and you come back up. Finding that straight spine, you hinge a little bit forward. If this is, if you're feeling a lot of stretch, keep yourself right here. If you can keep that back straight, you can constantly be pushing yourself a little bit further without your legs giving in, keeping those toes to the ceiling until you can make your way all the way flat. With these stretches, you want to start building up to try to make it to 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, you guys, we're going to end with a final one is a twist. It's always good to try to move your spine both forward, backwards, and twisting. So to take our twist, you're going to extend one leg straight out to the ceiling, and you're going to hug one knee in towards your chest. You're going to take that same hand and put it behind you and really try to get a nice straight spine. From here, you take your arm and you cross over your knee. From here, you're gonna try to take a stop sign. As you do that, you don't wanna hunch down like this. You wanna keep extending your spine as you try to look back over your shoulder. It's always about lengthening and lifting with your spine. Good, and then make sure we always do the other side. So you're gonna straighten out the leg, pull the other leg in, hand goes behind, arm crosses, and you take your twist. It's always good to use your breath during these so a good way to count is by taking 10 deep breaths in each stretch. 